Hello, my name is Anna Murat. Today, I will be showing you how to fix the Samsung HD TV. The model number of this Samsung TV is LN40A330. This TV was built in June 2008. It was working fine for the last eight years. It just died one day without giving any warning signal signs. Make sure power cord is unplugged before opening it for any repair work as there are hazardous high power voltages inside the TV. Place the TV facing down on the flat table. You will need Phillips screwdriver set to open the back panel screws. Let us open these screws and gently remove the back panel. You can see there are two circuit boards. It is very easy to identify that this circuit board is the power supply. As you can see, the capacitors and transformers on it. This board on the right is the tuner and graphic processing unit. As TV suddenly died down, so let us look at the power supply board carefully. Most of the times in this kind of situations, power supply is the root cause. You can see there are a couple of capacitors which appear swollen or puffy and their caps have black leaky electrolyte visible. The good thing is that each component on the circuit board is marked. The power supply board model number is IP2111358. Luckily, we found the schematic diagram of this board on the Google. Let us find out the location of these puffy or bad capacitors on this circuit diagram. As you can trace that this board will not produce 5 volts if these capacitors are bad. I found someone on Amazon selling these capacitors in a bundle of over 200 capacitors of various values. I paid less than $10 and within a week I got the shipment. Probably each capacitor cost less than 10 cents. I'll carefully remove the power supply board connectors and unscrew it from the chassis. Now we will remove these damaged capacitors and replace them. As you can see, this board is delicate, so I will recommend using a fine tip soldering iron. Make sure you don't overheat the board and ensure that the positive and negative terminals of capacitors are correctly wired. Generally, negative terminal is shorter and marked. After replacing the capacitors, assemble it and we will reconnect we will connect the Xbox to check it. Wow, it's on. We are back in business. We spent less than 50 cents and about an hour to repair the TV. Hopefully it can last another eight years. Thanks for watching this video. Good luck and I love this.